Hello there. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make pastry. All right. So what, you'll be saying. I've come to realise that there's many ladies in this world, they have a problem with pastry. Now, I have perfected my pastry over 40 years. Great ingredients, use top quality ingredients all the time the best flour, the best butter, and the freshest eggs. <clears throat> and note, there is no fat or lard or what the Americans call short in, in this pastry because all those ingredients will give you heartburn and tummy troubles. It is the fat you don't want. I can guarantee this pastry you will be able to eat without any problems at all. Now firstly we have self-raising flour, not plain flour, self-raising flour. One pound of it. Secondly I have six, six dessert spoonfuls of sugar in. And thirdly, I have the butter. Do use top quality material. If you try any shortcuts, you will get the cheaper stuff like you're buying in supermarkets. smaller the better and today we're going to make rhubarb pie because we've my first crop of rhubarb was just coming to uh, being and it now awaits the pie filling. What we do now is mix our flour and butter and sugar together. You can always put a cloth over here uh, to stop the flour and that all over the place but I'm just demonstrating to you what's happening. So what I'm going to do now is just have a feel at this. You want to be a bread comes consistency and it's getting... I just... Then what we do, now I'm happy with that. In here is two large eggs. Now, if you can't get large eggs, you'll have to adjust it two and a half medium or three small. Now, there's no water goes in here. Forget about water. What is the problem with pastry? Reach it in nice and slowly. And then just speed it up. And here presto. We have our paste. How long does that take us? Five minutes. There we are. And 
No, we need now a bit of cling film. Cling film. And into the fridge for at least two hours. See what how much rhubarb we've got. A bit of this marvellous stuff called cling film. And now I'm going to microwave this until it's just softening. Brace it rest in the fridge. I'm going to cut this in half. Very short pastry is this pastry, so you're gonna have to be careful with it. But in time, you'll get the idea about this pastry. Frightened of it, shove it down. It will shrink a bit this uh, pastry. But what I do now, I just squeeze it out. bit of milk and I'm going to put this in on to uh, bit, bake a bit so. right I've had this in the oven at 200 and just kept my eye on it have a fan oven you've got to be careful so my next job, you can see it's shrunk, can't you? I don't want it. Now, this is to seal the lid on. Now, here we have the rhubarb. I've just tested it. In Italy, they call it al dente when it's just got that crispness to it. I bet you can all taste this pie now already, can't you? Nah. Right. Now we've got the filling in. I like plenty of filling. Just hope I've got my pastry right for coming up. Just about right. I'm doing this this way because that pie dish is very hot. And here, leftover pastry. I should have enough pastry there to uh, make a dozen mince pies. So while this is in the oven cooking, 
will make it as a mince pies. It looks as I've overfilled this, but not to worry. Now give that a bit of a wash. And then I'll do a liberal sprinkling of sugar. I do like my sugar. And we're ready for the oven. So here we go, into the oven, and then we'll have to wait and see. Right, while that's in, we'll make some mince pies. Cut it open. Right, what I do now, while the pie's in the oven, I make some mince pies. Now I'm sealing this with olive oil so it doesn't stick. I don't use fat, I always shortening olive oil. Preferably from grease. Right. I wonder how many of you all try this paste. If it's right, let me know how you're going with it. And if you know any better pastry than this, please send me the recipe. You've got a dozen pies, uh, in spies after this. You know then, eh? So, when you've got your trays full, just brush with milk. Once again, is to seal them. Right? Then get your mince meat. Can you smell this? <laughs> Right, put the lids on. And Brush with the milk to give a nice brown finish. And I prefer to sprinkle with sugar. I'm, I'm not happy with icing sugar when I see people take a mouthful of mince pies and they suck the sugar in and end up in about a coughing. So I put my sugar on now. Oh yes. This will do for me. In goes the mince pies. The mince pies are mine. You tap your pastry. 
you can hear that, it's lovely and crisp. And that's your rhubarb pie. Right, the proof of the pie is in the eating. And guess who this bit's for? There you go. That's your pie, it's nice. That's full and beautiful. Here we are. A dozen mince pies. Oven off. And trust the telephone to ring. Anyway, the ring back. So, there you have it. Rhubarb pie. Now, if you want to put in more sugar in your rhubarb, do so. Uh, these will have to cool down before I can get them out. But these are mine.